Hello, I'm Vivian. I will talk about Health South scandal. Health South Corporation is a large public healthcare company that operates 93 inpatient rehabilitation hospitals, six long term acute care hospitals, and 25 home health agencies. The company is headquartered in Birmingham, Alabama, and its operations are spread across 26 states and Puerto Rico. Its mission is to be the healthcare company of choice for patients, employees, physicians, and shareholders by providing high quality care in the community we serve. Health South was founded in 1984 by restoratory therapists and businessman Rachel Sakushi and went public in 1986 with Sakushi as CEO. The company grew quickly throughout the 1980s and 1990s, mainly well acquisition. In 1997, it opened a brand new $50 million corporate campus on the outskirts of Birmingham. By the end of 1999, Half South was already a $4 billion company and had expanded to 120 inpatient rehabilitation hospitals five medical centers, 1,379 outpatient rehabilitation centers, 230 surgery centers, 129 diagnostic centers, and 124 occupational medicine centers. The problem at Health South start to become aware in May 2002. In May, Sakushi sold more than $75 million worth of Health South stock, and in June, he sold another $25 million back to the company. Health South then disclosed in August that a change in Medicare payment policy would significantly lower reimbursement, causing the company's stock to lose more than half of its value and leading to shareholder lawsuits alleging that Sakushi had acted on insider information when selling his shares. Then, in February of 2003, FBI announced the opening of a criminal investigation of Health South for personal security laws violations. After the close of business on March 18, 2003, the FBI used a search warrant to raid Health South's headquarters and seize the company's financial record. And on March 19, the securities and seems files a support complaint against Health South for accounting for the SEC, which had already been investigating the company for six months. Alleged that since 1999, at the insistence of Sakushi, Systematically our state in earning by at least one point four billion dollars in order to meet or exceed Wall Street earnings expectations. According to the SEC's complaint, only detailed the estimate earning impact of the fall between nineteen ninety nine and the first half of two thousand and two, as showing in the table. It alleged that this practice 
began soon after Help South went public in 1986. Based on gap increasing in earnings must be matched by corresponding increase in net assets as that shareholders equity rose forward properly and the balance sheet balance. The SEC alleged that HealthSoft was therefore able to increase its earning while balancing in books by overstating assets and understanding liabilities. This was done in a variety of ways, but certain accounting is particular where you lie most frequently in connections with the federal reporting. Since the accounting scandal was first discovered in March 2003, HealthSouth has taken many steps to turn, to turn itself around and become a stronger company. HealthSouth took an important step forward on June 27, 2005, when it released auditing order financial statement for the four years ending December 31st, 2003, the first time the company had issued financials since the third quarter of 2002. In December 2005, Health South issued its 2004 annual report, and in 2006, the company re-established itself as a current SEC file when it issued its 2005 annual report and resumed its quarterly filings. In conclusion, the Health South offers a powerful reminder that when it comes to financial reporting, things are not always as they seem. Whether the fall should have been uncovered sooner is an open question. Regardless, analyzed it. And investors should always be careful not to reveal company's financial statement with an uncritical eye. Nor should they take management assertions about company health and Variety forward looking projections at face value for particular reasons. A considerable degree of relying on independent audit opinions is absolutely necessary. The health sub experience, like Aaron and many others, shows that auditors do not always do their job as well as they should. Thank you.